So go ahead, get it done. All right, tropics really active right now. This is Hurricane Humberto spinning at 160 miles an hour. That is Category 5 status. It's expected to remain Category 5 until tomorrow where it's expected to downgrade into a Category 4. Good news is, though, it is taking that turn like most storms have this time of year and not going to be affecting anyone in the United States other than the fish. Now, Tropical Depression 9, most likely going to be Tropical Storm Emilda over the next 24 to 48 hours. This is what we're keeping our eyes on. Notice how it gets fairly close to the east coast. But good news is recent models have been trending this storm to go more off the east coast, meaning that we're not going to really going to be seeing any landfall. Doesn't look like it anyway right now. Now things can change over the next couple of days, so I want you guys to keep uh, coming back in for details. But if this storm does stay off the coast of the Carolinas, they're still going to see indirect impacts like the flooding, the high surf, the dangerous rip currents, and we also could see some more rain chances depending on how close this gets to the east coast. Now here's the Euro. This is our long range model. It shows um, tropical storm Emilda or potential tropical storm Emilda inching closer to the Carolinas. Now if this goes super close, we could start to see some rain starting to spin off into the Tennessee Valley. And by Wednesday, we could see an increase in rainfall as well. But this will start to head off more towards sea, leaving us for the weekend looking like we're going to be dry. So again, it matters how close Amelda can get to us. That's going to increase our rain chances. For now